Hi, and welcome to this tutorial video on how to capture your online exam by a screen recording using OBS software in Mirsal Validate Your Remote Exam. There are three parts you need to know when taking your online exam. First, before appearing on your exam, you need to set up your OBS software at least a day before your final exam. Next part, during your online exam, you need to set up your screen recording before to attempt to take your remote exam. And last part, you need to upload your screen video recording to your Mistral account using your college email address. Let's go to part one, setting up your OBS software. And to do this, you need to download and install your OBS software to your computer. Step 2, set up OBS display capture and web camera. Note, you need to arrange your video capture at the upper corner of your screen. Step number 3, set up the file path of your video recording. You need to click setting. Click recording and check for the path where you can save your video screen recording and make sure that the format is MP4 format. Then you can close your OBS and next step is to attend to your online exam. So to download the OBS software, you need to go to obsproject.com slash download and check for the version of your operating system. This time, I'm going to um, use Windows operating system. If you're using Mac, you can go to click Mac and then download the installer. After that, after you download the installer, you need to go to the downloaded file and click install or run as the administrator. This time I'm going to install now my OBS software. Now we are ready to set up our display capture and our web camera. After installation of your OBS software, and after opening your OBS software, you will be receiving this particular window. To add your display capture, you need to add source. To add source, you just need to click plus sign or right click, add, and you need to add a display capture source. You can rename your display capture source or you can use the default name display capture. You just click OK. And you must receive this type of window when you add your display capture. In the event, in the event that this screen is a pure black, then it means that you are not using your integrated graphics card. So what you can do is to go to, okay, what you can do is to close your OBS software and go to your OBS software shortcut and click run with graphics processor. This time, okay, it means your laptop or your computer is having a high performance graphics card and an integrated graphics card so to run that one you need to select integrated graphics card this is one way okay for you to troubleshoot your obs software okay click integrated graphics card 
Okay? Or you can go to your device setting onto the device manager and search for the display adapter and try to disable temporarily your other graphics card leaving your integrated graphics card enabled okay to your obs file so this time i'm going to relaunch my obs software okay so after adding our display capture you will be receiving a red line okay this one is used to resize your video display capturing area to add your video camera you need to add another source and add video capture device you can again rename your video capture device or use the default video capture device name after which you need to select if you're using two different web camera one is integrated or one is external then you need to select okay, what type of web camera you will be using this time i'm going to use my integra integrated web camera click ok and again you will be seeing a red box okay used to reduce your web camera take note that you need to arrange your video capture camera okay on the upper left corner of your screen okay this is to prevent the blocking of your web browsers or your applications that you will run on the later part next thing to do is to set up your file path where your recording will be saved to do that one you need to click setting click output and in the recording part you will see and you can reallocate the file where your video recording will be saved so this time by default obs software always save your video recording to your video file or video folder okay and you can create a new folder for example um, online exam recording okay so that you will be able to know that all of your recording will be saved on this particular folder select the folder and you see the path will be changed take note also that you need to change the recording format always to use mp4 this is to reduce the capacity of the video recording that you will be using so this time you are now ready for your online exam you just click apply and click ok that is how you're going to install your obs software and okay. next is during the exam part two is while you want to attend your online remote exam the first step is you need to open your obs which is right now my obs is open you need to be online on your MS team or into your WebEx meeting for your exam instruction. Then you need to open your OBS and start recording your OBS software. So this time, how are you going to start capturing and recording your screen? So I need to click start recording. Okay. And go to my portal my exam portal for example i'll be going to my net acad 
Netapp.com. And I need to log in my NetAhad. Sign into my NetAhad and attend to my online exam. After logging into your exam portal or to your LMS, to your learning management system, for example, I need to attend to my computer hardware class. If you're using e-learning, so you need to go to your e-learning. So this time, I'm going to use NetAhad. So for example, I'm now taking my quiz. So let's say I'm going to take my quiz, okay? And answer now my particular exam, my online exam. Okay, so let's say that you've already completed your exam. You click submit, okay? So now you need to stop your OBS recording. So you just need to click stop recording and check for your recording file where in you save your OBS recording file. So this time I save it in my online exam recording. Okay, and just double check your pre-recorded format. So right now you see that um the one I captured okay during the event okay was saved on that the on that particular recording screen recording format. Okay. So the last part is to send your online exam to your lecturer, to your course lecturer. So first, you need to locate your video screen recording file, which we done it already. Then you need to rename your video MP4 file with your first name plus your college ID. And you need to upload your recording using your Mirsal on this particular site, HTTPS, okay, mirsal.omren.om, and log in using your HTT email. So if this is the Mirsal website, you need to click log in and select Higher College of Technology and use your college account email address so this time i'm going to log in and i need now to select my recording file so locate your recording file click open and send it to your course lecturer so for example, my course lecturer is Hassel at hct.edu.om. And all you need to do is to click send. Okay. Then now the integrity of your online remote exams will be validated by your course lecturer. and it will be checked. So for more video like how to use mobile phone as your web camera using OBS and how to use OBS on a much advanced manner, please click like and subscribe and see you next time on another video tutorial in LQ. Remember, knowledge is a lifelong learning process.
and never stop learning. Thank you and good day.